What's up guys and welcome back to Lego City Undercover and today we'll be continuing on with our adventure by starting chapter 5 Undercover. What do you know? So if you guys didn't see the last episode, whoa, this is a cool car. This, oh and it has boosters. I don't know whose car this is, but maybe this is like our undercover car. That would be nice. It goes so fast too. I love it. Very, very cool. Out of the way everybody. I have places to be. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, we get to go this way now. We haven't gone across this bridge yet. Very cool, you discovered a super build. All right, nice to know, nice to know. But yeah, this level, or this chapter seems like it's gonna be interesting because we are all disguised as like a like a bad guy, basically. Or at least we're just, in general, there. undercover. So nobody will know that we are Mr. Chase McCain. So hopefully that's a good thing. We'll find out if right now, whoa, look at this. There's like a whole balloon festival going on. And there's a giant alligator. Cool, watch out, bad guy. Is this like a, a bad side of town? Those guys with mohawks everywhere? I mean, I guess just having a mohawk doesn't make you a bad person, but I don't know. They sort of seem like a weird group of people. All right, so I'm just gonna cut across here. I talk about this being the bad side of town and I'm the only person driving on the wrong side of the road. Maybe I should do some self-reflection first. I'm not really sure though but we're almost there. Just gotta go right on over here. This car is so awesome. I don't know whose car it is, but I wanna keep it. So what's going on? We're all undercover? Hey, Chase. Now you're an undercover detective. I've added a new function to your communicator. Is it a voice recorder? So I can do private eye style monologues? No. I was disappointed, but I decided to hear the lady out. <laughs> it's an audio scanner. You just point it at a window and you can hear what's being said inside the room. You'll need to get to a vantage point to use it, though. It sounded like it might be useful. I thanked the nice lady and set off into the night. It's the daytime. Good luck, Chase. Okay, sounds good. You have unlocked the audio scan. Cool. I should get I'll to put it to good use. For clues. Okay, so audio scan points indicate there are conversations you can overhear nearby. So we'll try to make our way over there. Excuse me. So how do we get up there? Looks like we gotta go the long way around and start traversing on top of buildings. Why is there a cave lady? I don't understand. Why is there a cave lady just walking around the normal streets of the world? Can somebody explain that? Is she a street performer? A really weird choice for a street performance, but hey, I mean, if it gets her the, you know, the bills paid, you know, that's what matters. So we're not in a level right now, so we don't have to worry about studs too much. I'm really only going to super duper sweat them in like when there's a ton of them nearby or if there is, um, yeah, let's try that again. It's not working anymore. So I can still do this as undercover chase, which is cool to know. And what's going on here? It's very hard to see because you know, chase is sort of in the way, but I guess I'm supposed to be tightrope walking here, but maybe we should be a street performer. I think we'd make plenty of money. So only, so I got to change to you, right? Okay, that works or not. Oh no, it worked for you, just told me that would work. All right, so I'm supposed to be listening in on conversations. I'm a total jerk, or I'm doing it for justice. We'll find out. Ooh, so maybe Why these people are- Why am I are... phoning you? Because you're late for your interview. Where are you? Oh, you're meant to be a chance limo place. Get a move on. Uh-oh. Can you believe that? That Bucky Butler guy. The one who wants to join the gang? Yeah, he was at the art gallery. Well, they do have an excellent collection of cubist sculptures. Ooh. What does cubist mean? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know. Bucky Butler. Why is that name familiar? Well, I busted that guy like two years ago. Ooh. If I get him out of the picture, then I can take his place at the job interview and join Chan's gang. Ooh, that'd be good. This is an emergency. Excuse me, like I like how it's just, when I'm undercover, I'm just a guy stealing a car at the end of the day. I don't know if I still have my spy car over there, so I'm just gonna chill out with this and see if it works. Ooh, look at this, big jump! Yeah, all right, good stuff there. I love the shortcuts in this game. That's a really rad part of it so far. And, whoa, look at this. We're in like Times Square, it looks like there's like a Jurassic World. Uh, Little thing there, that's pretty cool. Is this a disguise booth over here? Uh, I can't really see, so I don't think so though. Well, we still got more to drive in. Ooh, police motorcycle. Here, hold on, really quick lady. Can I see that really quick? 
this yep. is an emergency. It is. Excuse me, I have fun things to do. Wee! <laughs> this is perfect. This is exactly what I want all of the time. <gasps> super jump. Hold on, hold on. It's super hard to keep track of, but I did it! Whoa! That's awesome. I love these these shortcuts are so rad. Like they really should end up making us just crashing and burning, but somehow we survive. And now we're just jamming through the park. Is that person on a lawnmower? Get out of here! I didn't see you there. Or did I? I'm secretly the bad guy the entire time. Oh, this wasn't a shortcut jump, but it was a jump, sort of. I like it. Jump! Oh, I can't jump over there. This actually doesn't have a very large hop. I need to keep that in mind. Okay, yeah, I'm like going all the wrong ways. I gotta go this way. I'm just trying to follow the green path, but I'm also trying to make it a little bit quicker just because that makes it more fun. So it looks like I just gotta cut around this way and we have made it. Oh man, I take the scenic route every time if I can because that's just so much fun. Uh oh, is the train coming by? Oh, I guess we gotta go here. So we went to this checkpoint for no reason. Okay. Well, it's not that long of a drive when I have my awesome motorcycle of awesomeness, so hop off of it and then stand right here. And what do I need to look at? I guess right what here. What do you think of this one? Hmm. You know how they say. I don't think that's what we're looking for. Oh, uh, maybe this one? All right then. They're Goodbye, very loud. Sir. I hope you enjoyed the gallery. Uh, yeah, thanks. I picked up this real nice print from the gift shop. Gosh, it looks just like the original. <laughs> it sure does. Well, see ya. <laughs> it is the original. I didn't even know the gift shop sold prints. They don't. This guy just fooled you. Hey, you, stop. I know you. You're that cop from years ago. Whoa. Oh, gosh, Rod. Way to tip off your target, Chase. <laughs> Should have just attacked him. Oh, look at that, we got the spy car again. Awesome. So where'd he go? He's going this way. He just wants to talk in a jail cell. Ooh, he's taking the shortcuts too. This might be a tough chase here, but we get a super break for it. It's a 4,802 now. This is very cool. Right, let's try to cut around as much as I can. Whoa. Come on, chase you down, chase you down. I'm almost there. Chase is on the chase. As always, Chase is on the case and the chase. Ooh, we're damaging you up. We're really damaging you. Look at you go. We just monster trucked this guy. Like that was just like a derby going on. Or in the name of Chase McCain. One of the two. Whatever works. Just stop. Oh, that guy was on a skateboard. Is it, can we ride skateboards in this game? Because that sounds like fun. Come on, get him. Get him. Yeah! And these police officers do not care. I love it. They're just like, whatever. Oh, man. Why do you keep arresting me? You were going to join Chan's gang. That ain't a criminal offense. Sheesh, I don't like to tell people how to do their own job, but if you're gonna arrest me for anything, it should be for the painting I just stole, you fool. Huh? Oh, sausages. <laughs> Thanks, Bucky. Okay, I better get to my job interview. All right, well, and he just disappears out of existence. I gotta get the skateboard if I can, or this one. This is an emergency. Oh, this is an emergency. I'm in desperate need of fun. Give me your skateboard. It goes very slow. Whoa, whoa, it has a boost. Look at us go. Hold on, hold on. And then trick. I can't quite do some tricks, but it has a boost. This, this goes faster than some of the cars in this game. That is awesome. Okay, so we're going back in our car now. Ouch. Okay, maybe that was a bit of a mistake. Just trying to go through here. Trying to make whatever shortcut I can, but maybe this is a silly one, but there is a proper shortcut right here, so maybe it wasn't a mistake. We in danger everybody we're near. Like, we are the worst police officers, but that's what makes it so much fun. Oh, excuse me, <laughs> disco guy. I might hit him, might knock him back to the 70s. Whoa, 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 okay, hold on. Watch out, <laughs> excuse me, pardon me. Just wish that you're not that table I just smacked. Oh boy, we're driving on the complete wrong side of the road, which is sort of our comfort zone at this point. It's really weird. So this is where we gotta be. And, oh, this is the interview. All right then, cool. You're the new boy? Yes, sir. Oh, I was promised a thug. You look more respectable than I was hoping. Uh, well then, maybe you should get some glasses, old man. Ha <laughs> that's more like it. Okay. I need you to pick someone up. Oh, are they feeling sad? In a car! Obviously. The person is Forrest Blackwell. The multi-billionaire? 
That is correct. It won't be easy, though. Mr. Blackwell is constantly hounded by the paparazzi. They will try to follow you, and Mr. Blackwell will not like this. Got it. Not a problem, because I am awesome at driving. Good boy. Go pick him up at Blackwell Tower. And be polite. He's our only customer. Well, you only need one customer if he pays all the bills. Are you sure he wouldn't like a motorcycle ride? Because this one looks awesome. I love that one. I'm not sitting around. I was just checking on a motorcycle. You're the one who's going to be sitting. Or no, you're indestructible. All right, good to know. Uh, So I got to go... Wait, where am I right now? I'm way over here. Holy cow. We got a long way to go, so I better start drifting. Excuse me! Part of me, I don't understand why you would cut into the road and then break. It's like, if you're already in the middle of the road, it's too late, dude. You might as well keep going. Oh gosh, well, we're just gonna do what we can here. So right now we are timed, even before we get there. So we don't wanna keep him waiting. We got two and a half minutes to get to like the other side of this lake, which might be a little bit tough. So let's go ahead and excitingly hop while we're running. Yeah! Okay, so I guess I'm going the right way. Yeah, so far so good. But if I gotta wrap around to the left, wouldn't it be easier to like cut across like here? Oh gosh, watch out, dinosaur Dreptar! <laughs> Reminds me of the video game, the Rugrats video game. And the last level of that game you could play as Reptar and destroy the city. That's a cool game. I used to play that a lot as a kid. Don't know what that has to do with this game, but I guess, you know, just something about a Reptar and cities combining makes me think of that. I really like all the features this city shares with a real city. Like, it feels like alive. I like that a lot. It's really fun. Oh, let's keep going this way. Excuse me, pardon me, everybody. I'm gonna start honking if I can. And we're almost there. We have made it in time with a minute and a half. But we could have turned around and got some donuts. Oh, gosh. We made some major mistakes. Say cheese. Can I get a picture? Watch the birdie. Side change. Mr. Blackwell. Are you still thinking about the scandal? Why won't you let anyone in your tower anymore? Is it true you prefer cats to dogs? Gentlemen, please, give Mr. Blackwell some privacy. He merely wishes to go somewhere mysterious for secretive reasons he doesn't want you to know about. Oh, great. <laughs> Why would you tell him that? You should have told him he was going somewhere boring, then they wouldn't care. It's my job? Well, get a better job, sir. Ask, young man. I shall be attending one of the last ever performances of the Perpetual Inbox at the Gillespie Theatre. I trust you have been told of my aversion to the paparazzi. Yes, sir. I'll do my best to shake them off. I appreciate that this may require you to adopt a somewhat, shall we say, unorthodox driving style. It could get a little rough. Oh, do not worry on my account. I have ridden atop ships of the desert. Nothing can compare to the discomfort that inflicts upon one's posterior. But wouldn't a ship atop a desert just not move? Like, that doesn't sound all that rough at all. I mean, what's the difference between sitting on a ship atop a desert and just chilling out in a lawn chair? Ask yourself, young man. Well, I like that TV show with the monkey who solves crimes. Ah, a true connoisseur. <laughs> Okay, what monkey solves crimes? Is this like a reference to a real TV show? Can you get out of here? Oh, not taking any pictures anymore. Oh boy, oh, I thought that was made out of Lego. It is not, so that means I immediately bounce off of it. Authority, regulations, bureaucracy, the usual concern. The car's not doing so well. I think they'll know it's us. I sort of made a few mistakes here. But what can gosh, watch out, watch out. Oh gosh, I'm like super afraid I'm gonna die now. I can like barely hear these guys. The game audio balancing in this is like really awful sometimes. Like some cutscenes are just like so loud and the other ones are like, we are whispering now for no reason. We're still using our outside voices. It doesn't make any sense. Oh boy, I, I, I sort of made a wrong turn. I'm a little scared to take the shortcuts. I, I'm not even supposed to go this way. Oh, I thought I was going back from once I came, but that is not quite the case. If I take one more shot, this this car is done for. So I gotta be really careful. Excuse me, pardon me. Oh boy. We're getting there though. Maybe I should take the wrong side of this is an awful idea. But as long as I don't run into anybody, I'm just trying to take it nice and slow. Oh, and we're there. It was a good idea to take this way and got it. Nice! I think I just about survived that journey, driver. There's no need to wait. I shall be getting home by other means. 
Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. I don't see how that protected you from the paparazzi, but as long as you're happy, sir. As long as you're happy. Oh, we got a message. Admirable driving for Mr. Blackwell. Your complete lack of respect for traffic laws proves that you are an awful person and is to be commended. Thanks. I hate traffic laws. Yes. I sense you may be the sort of individual we are looking for. Have you ever stolen anything? I stole some pens. Ugh. A thousand pens. I guess it's just sort of. Oh, I like somebody. <laughs> Excellent. Then you are to be offered a promotion. Go to the alleyway to the left of the salvage yard in Pagoda. My employer will be anticipating your arrival there. He will explain the details. I wasn't actually trying to unlock anything there, but cool. We get to go and see Mr. Chan. That's something, right? That's a good thing. But I unlocked a Spartan warrior for whatever reason. What's cool is that you're not unlocking actual characters. You're unlocking like like Chase is the character. He's just dressing up as them, and that's just sort of different from the other Lego games. And I think it's really cool. All right, well, I shouldn't have taken this jump because I think it's sort of veering me off in the wrong way. But it's too much fun not to. And then I just have to cut to the left right here. Yeah, I'm just like that drift in the taxi. It's crazy taxi, and we're good. I think I might not want to be in a car. And there we go. Uh oh, so we're going into a dark alley. Well, you're never supposed to do that. That's the dangerous thing to do. Uh oh, it's spooky. Hello? Anybody here? Maybe Perfect. I'm at the wrong address? <gasps> ah! I'm here hello! About a promotion? You? You look like a cup. A cup? Well, I'm not. See? <laughs> Ugh. Oh, I hope that wasn't Mr. Chan. Greetings, driver. You want to make some money? Stop that! I will fire you, prancing fools! I guess it is Mr. Chan. <laughs> He's got quite the temper. Uh, uh, what do you got in mind? Getaway driving? Not so fast. Careful driving? No! Bunnies. Ah. At least they know how to curb his temper for the most part. First, you have to prove yourself. Here is a list of instructions. Follow them, and then report to my salvage yard. And don't get caught like those knuckleheads did! Sure thing, Mr. Chan. Please, call me sir. Why are you still here? All right, I'm going, I'm going. Don't need to be so mean about it. <laughs> it's a rabid bunny, no! Save the bunny from Mr. Chad. Wants me to recover a car from his rival while they're having a shindig. I guess that makes me a party pooper. Huh? I don't think I've ever pooped a party before. Or maybe you have, and you just didn't notice it because you're sort of self-centered, at least a little bit. I'm not gonna say Chase is a bad guy, but he can be quite a bit full of himself, and he can't deny. Well, we're going this way now. Ooh, we're going in an underground tunnel. These are always the coolest. Even if your radio cuts out and you lose internet connection or whatever, it's still very cool, these tunnels. Like, I don't know, I always appreciate them when I'm in a car going through them. Whoa, look at that car. That thing looks fast. I think I might exchange that for my taxi. Look at this guy. Oh, the silversmith, and it has the speed boost. This thing doesn't look street legal, so I gotta go ahead and confiscate it. It's, you know, police code, so. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that it's all in running condition while we, of course, bring it back to the police department. And it's also like my favorite shade of green. At least it is out here in the sun, so that's pretty cool. Let's go. Yeah, okay, we made it. Ooh, is there another fancy car in there? Looks like it. It ain't fair that we have to guard this place. Yeah. You know, we could sneak off to that other party by the hotel pool. Maybe. If they started playing some decent music and serve up some food. Well, so so instead of like taking their spot, like hey, you guys can go enjoy the party. I'll take your shift. They're just we're just gonna improve the party. Well, whatever works, you know. Whatever gets the crime solved. A barbecue here. Oh. How do they expect me to serve up burnt food poisoning in a bun without a barbecue? 
I didn't train for two whole days to be a chef so I could deal with this kind of incompetence. Uh, Should have been three. Hey, Should have been three. A barbecue, and it's even clean. Oh my I gosh! To everything in ketchup to disguise the taste this time. Now I just need some stuff to cook on it. Okay, so what can we get you to cook on it? I don't really see anything around, but yep. can I just beat it up just again? Need someone to get me some food. I would love to get you some food if I can figure out where to go. Ooh, here's some food stands. Okay, I'll go ahead and just bring this to him. A whole bunch of chicken. It's already cooked. He doesn't even have to. I've already cooked it up for you, dude. You can just pretend you didn't. Maybe you can still drown it in ketchup if you want. These people are dancing to no music. Maybe it's like they're all wearing ear pods or earbuds and it's supposed to be like some kind of sponsored uh, like party. That's perfect. Could you put it on there for me? Thanks. <laughs> 30 seconds and these will be ready to eat. Would you like some chicken tartare? I'll pass. Yeah, same here. Not too interested. Well, now we get to figure out the music side of things. Do I smell food cooking? I think I do. See ya. <laughs> there goes one of them. Now all we just need is some good music, and we'll be good to go. So we gotta go over here, apparently. The first one wasn't too bad, so I'm hoping this one won't be too bad either. Looks like there's actually a shortcut over this party, which is pretty rad. Is this music? I have no idea, it's a pinata. Weird. That had nothing to do with what I was doing, but Dude, it's cool to see. Blew up. That is oh no. I play opera on it. <laughs> Keep to the this dubstep. Electrical whiz. But you're gonna need another record before you can spin the decks. Oh. And kablamo! <laughs> oh, uh, that wasn't meant to happen. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Lawsuit incoming, so apparently you will get me a record? What are you gonna do? Um. Now I shall bring her back! Shazam Ablam! A record? Should I'll take it. Well, that person just doesn't exist anymore. Like most people, they just magically disappear. Are we gonna be the DJ? Oh, look at this. Get your jam on. Up. Down. <laughs> what if he just sung this and this was the song? He's like, down. Right. And people were like, is that what we're supposed to dance? Is that something? Uh, I don't know. Oh boy, come on. Well, we got, is that a timer up there? Or is that how many we have left? I think it's a timer. So we just gotta keep surviving for the next eight seconds. Not that difficult to be honest with you. So, ooh, 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 ooh. And we're good. Nothing to worry about. So there we go, we are a DJ Remix Master. We are a professional chef. We got this party in the ramps. Uh-oh. I think the rhythm just got me. Well, there he goes. Nobody's willing to do their job anymore, so we can go back and get ourselves a free ride. Okay, so turn to the bad guy, which is right here, the robber. Oh, oh, oh gosh! It's the hey, Avengers! What are you doing? Uh, secret car washes? Get him! Oh gosh, no! Wait, why are the Avengers here? <laughs> totally, it's Marvel's Avengers! Just the copyright free version. I'm gonna arrest the Minotaur. And then arrest a pro when the powers of a Minotaur, a pro wrestler, whoever this guy is, and of course, the 300 Sparta guy, and then a lady running into the scene for no reason, and a cowboy. I see, oh, that was a gorilla. Okay, get that, and then we're good to go. Except that the pro wrestler's still here, so oh gosh, more of the Avengers. It's the extended universe. <laughs> okay, excuse me, pardon me. There's just a random civilian that has got caught in the fray. Poor lady. These guys are not giving up, though. They're actually being quite tough. Here, come on, arrest you. Who was he? He was like biohazard guy. Some of these are like really awful superheroes. I mean, you're just a pro wrestler, so yeah. I guess so I'll use a pro wrestling move on him. Pretty cool. Get rid of you. And then we got a mummy. <laughs> what does a Scooby do now? Get out of here. Arrest you. <laughs> just a beach dude. Oh, is there a fight happening that I'm afraid of? Let me run into the scene and then against the wall and knock myself out. I was literally, he just did it again. This guy is not very good in high tense situations. Or intense situations, high intensity. Whoa, <laughs> we're giving this dude the beach ball treatment. Oh my gosh, and there we go, we got him on. 
Very cool. So now I can actually properly open this up without having to deal with the extended universe Marvel Avengers. Cool. Look at this car. Very nice. Better than the other one I stole. All right, drive the stolen car to Chan Scrapyard. Oh, like to be a to be a cop, we gotta break the rules. Do something a never co a cop should never ever have to do. Chase, is it true you're a member of a criminal gang now? Yeah, that's right. I'm working for Chan Chuang. <gasps> I can't believe you do that. I admired you, Chase. <laughs> it's not real, Frank. I'm undercover, remember? So I can find out where Rex is and arrest him? <laughs> yeah, I knew that. <laughs> you don't have to sign that good luck in your new job card anymore. Listen, Chen asked me to take a car from one of his rivals. He wasn't exactly a nice guy, but he should probably be compensated by the city. Do you think you can get that cleared by someone in charge? Sure, I can totally do that. I once gave a really important message from the mayor to the mayor. Oh, okay. I'm sending it over now. See you, Frank. <laughs> From the mayor to the mayor. Oh, it's like gonna remind me. Remind me in 10 minutes to go and make that phone call. Okay, well, we got the car where it's supposed to be. Hopefully it's a good one. Are we just trading spots on? Good luck with that. See ya. <laughs> and there we go. There's more stuff done. This is, I don't know how long of a chapter this is gonna be. Cause sometimes these chapters are like wicked long and sometimes they're only like 20 minutes, so. Trying to find the in the balance, the balance in between everything. But well, it looks like there isn't too much to do right now. Remember the vi oh, there's a video call. Hello. Hey, great work, driver. You have proven yourself to be most reliable, which is good because I need you to go to the office at my limo place. The burglar alarm has gone off. I would send Feng or Lee, but they're tied up at the moment. Which is why I told you not to play with skipping ropes during work hours! What about the old guy who works at your limo company? I had to fire him for being too familiar with me, which I regret as he's my father. If you find <laughs> anyone in there, I want you to deal with them. Do you understand? Yeah? Oh, and while you're in there, the people who employ my services value their privacy. So don't look at my records! I wouldn't dream of it. Okay, so we got ourselves a jetpack boosted pizza delivery scooter, which is awesome. I mean, if there's any way to get around, it's by boosting around, making sure those pizzas get there within 30 minutes or less. But we're back at this car place, I guess. I don't know if this is a car place, but it sort of looks like one. Oh boy, what's happening? Ooh, what are those? What are they doing in there? It's an actual ninja. Oh my. Or a thief, one of the two. Oh, we're gonna find out. One, two. Oh! <laughs> you should've just gone and don't think twice about it. Well, he's off. <laughs> we got flattened. Oh boy. Where'd he go? He's running this way, we gotta chase him. Let me turn into somebody else, maybe. I'll just be, uh, well, I wanted to be undercover, but I can't really change it when I'm climbing up like this. There I go, now I'm undercover. Nobody will know it's me. It's the limo delivery service area, that's what it is. Okay, so I gotta get up here. I love these chase scenes, though. They're a lot of fun. Like, a lot of stuff in this game is really, really cool. And this makes me so glad, because it shows you that, you know, the TT Games doesn't need to be tied down by the ideas of another product or movie or whatever to actually come up with cool stuff. Like, they can make cool stuff on their own. And it makes me really excited. I'd love to see, you know, TT Games do more stuff like this. And they have with Lego Worlds, it's a great example. And I really hope that they continue with that level of creativity, because it's impressive and it's so much fun. It's refreshing to have something that's just original that you can dig into. I'm not doing a good job of getting up this ladder, though. Hello, pigeons. Goodbye, pigeons. I'm climbing up this now because I'm a cool ninja cop. Ninja cop, ninja cop. You gotta watch out for that ninja cop. Oh, wow, look at him with his super jump. We're gonna follow suit though. She's where's he go? Oh, he's running out of breath. Okay, here's our time to strike, super jump. Oh, he's running to run. Oh, he's got the wall running going on. <laughs> it's like Mirror's Edge all of a sudden. Except we are the authority instead of running away from it. So he ran off this way. Am I supposed to get up here? We don't use pesky doors when we could go around the building that the door leads into. 
just like that. And we're gonna hopefully meet up with him right here. Is he gonna keep running? Come on, we got you. Oh. You've been caught, Ninja. No, he hopped off. Oh. Ew. Are you not gonna hop in? Come on, make the big jump! The stinky dive. We have found you. <laughs> Ew. Chase. Oh. Natalia! I thought Chan's men were after me. They kinda are. I'm undercover in his game. Why were you in his office? I'm trying to find my dad, Chase. What, like in a filing cabinet? No, no. I I mean that just before he disappeared, he was seen getting into a limousine. One of Chan's? I think so. But the only stuff I found in Chan's office were empty money bags from Papalardo's. Papalardo's? Yeah, the ice cream place with the trucks, you know. Yeah, I remember. So if Chan's working for Vinny Papalardo's gang, is it Vinny that's working for Rex? Hey, where are you going? Chan must be keeping my dad somewhere else. Stop! It's too risky! I'll find your dad. It's the least I can do. I am not gonna let you endanger my dad just so you can make up for the past. That's not why I want to help you. You want to help her because you want to be her cool boyfriend. <laughs> so there we go, you have unlocked a free run. Oh, so we can now freely run through that area. Pretty cool, I like it. And now it's time for chapter six, all in the family. What is with the big number two there? Like, what does this have to do with anything number two? Who knows, maybe we'll find out soon, but that's where we're gonna be finishing things off today in episode five. Of course, chapter five is now complete, so we are done for today. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Lego City Undercover. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If, if you watched this point of the video, make sure you comment Undercover Zebra, so now you've watched in the video and that you are a Zebra Task viewer. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.